Mathematicians love puzzles and I'm going to set one for you now. I'm going to use this light which is based on a familiar tessellation game and it consists of seven pieces. Each of the pieces has four squares and we can add them. And the question is simple, it's can we arrange these seven pieces into a four by seven rectangle? Now a bit of experimentation quite quickly leads you to guess that this might be impossible. But the question really is, how can we know for sure that it really is impossible without going through all the very many possibilities for arranging the pieces? And the great thing about mathematics is it gives us tools to answer questions like that. Studying mathematics at university allows you to go more deeply into the ideas behind some of the mathematics that you've already seen at school and to make connections between different branches of mathematics. As a pure mathematician, I think mathematics is really about patterns and I would be involved in teaching you some of the more abstract and conceptual parts of the programme, for example, talking about the mathematics underlying symmetry, which we see all around us in nature. We also have a wealth of expertise in applied mathematics and in statistics. And as well as lecture courses, every student on the programme has the opportunity to work more independently on a project of their choice. I'm doing a project on Ramsey theory, which is about finding order and interesting patterns in mathematical objects. This can be demonstrated through something called the party problem. Say we have three people meeting for lunch. We can draw green lines connecting the people who know each other and red lines connecting the people who don't. So in this graph, Person A knows person B and person C, but B and C don't know each other. As more people start to arrive, our graph begins to get more complicated as we map out who knows who. But when you get to six people, patterns start to emerge on your graph and you get triangles which have all three sides the same colour. So six is the magic number. With five people, we can easily plot a graph which has no triangles of all three sides the same colour. But once you reach six, or no matter how big your party gets, you'll be able to connect everyone in the room using triangular patterns. At Sheffield, you can join the Sheffield University Math Society, or SAMS, to interact with other math students and like-minded people in other years as well. The kinds of activities we run all year are laser quest, ice skating and nights out. We also have sports teams such as football and netball and we organise an end of year ball to celebrate the year. I think the great thing about maths is, as well as learning specific math skills, you learn broader skills that employees really, really value. So to me, being good at maths is about being logical and taking big problems and breaking them down into smaller steps. And that's something that's valued in an awful lot of different careers like finance, management, consultancy, teaching huge range and so to me maths really is everywhere and if you study maths after you graduate you can go anywhere.